the Casentino, a kaleidoscope of forests, medieval towns, religious tradition, and great artisanal expertise. A valley, the name of which echoes over time thanks to the famous panno, or cloth, which has made its mark in the world of fashion and style since the Middle Ages. Tex has decided to reveal the secrets of this extraordinary textile by relating every phase of a complex production process comprised of quality, cooperation, and a rigorous commitment to tradition. The production of the cloth begins with the yarn. The very best parts of the wool are pulled open, lubricated, and blended to send to the carding department. Once they're blended, the fibers are combed and compacted to form a carded strip. Another machine sections this light veil and creates the first yarn, the wick. to ensure resiliency, the yarn will be twisted thousands of times on itself in the spinner, acquiring its final weight and diameter. At the conclusion of this process, the skeins of yarn are divided and wound on bobbins, which, in their turn, will go to warp the looms. From the spinning mills of Casal Guidi, the bobbins will arrive at the tax weaving works in Stia, where the basic cloth is made. During the process of warping, threads are taken from the spools which, once they're put in place vertically one over the other on the loom, will determine the width of the cloth. The actual weaving process foresees the insertion of other horizontal threads, the weft, which crisscrossing with the warp will form the cloth. From the town of Stia, the cloth will reach Sochi, the historic finishing industry. The cloth will be fulled or felted in baths of soda and soap. After the cloth is washed and wrung out, it is sent to the dyeing vats, where it will be put into baths of dye color, mordant, and cold water. The cloth then arrives at the stenter, where it will be combed, the weave straightened, and lastly, dried in a steam room. And here we are for the first quality check, the mirror. The keen eyes of the workers check the uniformity of the color. Just one slight difference will cause the entire piece to be sent back to the dye room. When it's completely dry, the piece of cloth arrives at the leno machine, 
where tooth rollers create a raised nap on the right side of the claw. In order to achieve the desired homogeneous effect, the cloth will pass through five different stages. We have arrived at the final phase of the cloth making process, the napping. The fabric is run under a grinding stone, the movement of which creates the characteristic curly nap of the Cosentino cloth. It is in this phase that the cloth acquires its unique appearance, as well as becoming even more soft, warm, and water resistant. So here ends the cloth production phase, still carried out today with the same respect and attention to detail as it was in the 19th century. The cloth, coming in over 40 colors, will be transformed into the creations of the Tex collection, which can be purchased at exclusive factory prices in our boutiques in Florence, Stia and Poppi. We're at the conclusion of our fascinating journey. Tax now invites you to discover the Casentino with your own eyes. Here you will find in the orange of the summer sunsets and the green of the pristine forests, the original vivacity of this cloth, as warm as its people and as enduring as their traditions. <laughs>